Hello everyone. My name is Dr. Sanket Pisat. I am a gynecological endoscopic surgeon practicing in Mumbai, India. And today we are going to be discussing about small sized uterus. A lot of young girls come to us with complaints of never having bled or bleeding insufficiently or uh, having pain during bleeding uh, before or just after they have reached their adolescence. And sometimes we have ladies coming to us where they are not able to get pregnant and the ultrasound shows that there is a small sized uterus and because of which they are not able to get pregnant. So let us try and understand this concept of small sized uterus and whether anything can really be done about it surgically or by medicines in order to treat this condition. So first of all, what is a small sized uterus? Try to understand that the normal size of the uterus in the human body is about approximately 5 by 4 by 3 centimeters. And anything less than this, grossly less than this, would be considered as a small size uterus, although minor variations in size and anatomy are always possible. So broadly speaking, for the non-medical terminologies, the small size uterus is of two different types. One type is a uterus which is overall small. That means the outside of the uterus and the inside of the uterus. And by inside of the uterus, I mean the endometrial lining. Both are sufficiently small and overall the uterus is underdeveloped in nature. So this is a small size uterus. This is also referred to as in medical terminology as a hypoplastic uterus. This sort of uterus, the cause of this uterus is most of the times lies in genetics. And there is some or the other genetic defect. There are some syndromes. Some of them are called as MRKH syndromes and other syndromes are there. But the bottom line is that the problem is at the genetic level. And what is required is a genetic testing of the lady and sometimes a genetic testing uh, of the parents as well. But most of the times a genetic testing of the patient herself will realize that there is some sort of problem inside and that this problem needs to be investigated. Generally, these are the kind of patients who are young. They have never had a period in their life at all, and they have never been able to conceive. So some of these patients also have an underdeveloped vagina, in which case surgery is required to re-establish uh, the vaginal size before intercourse. And in some cases, one can give hormones to slightly enlarge the size of the uterus. However, in some cases, the uterus is extremely hypoplastic or is aplastic, meaning that there is no development of the uterus at all. And such conditions cannot really be treated by surgery. However, now in India, uterine transplantation has come in a big way and is practiced only at very select center in Pune where it can be done. But most of the times, most practitioners do not do uterine transplantation. Coming to the other type, of a small uterus, which is not a hypoplastic uterus, but is a T-shaped uterus. What a T-shaped uterus basically means is that the outside of the uterus or the overall size of the uterus is normal, but the inside of the uterus where the baby is going to grow is of smaller size. And this is basically because of an excessive thickness of the uterine walls. This is a classical T-shaped uterus and this definitely can be corrected by surgery. These patients are generally those who come to us with recurrent abortions or with difficulty to get pregnant. Once a T-shaped uterus has been diagnosed, correction by hysteroscopy is a fairly straightforward process in which the excessive part of the uterus, which is impinging upon the endometrial lining, is cut out. And the interior of the uterus or the cavity of the uterus where the baby is going to grow is enlarged. Medicines are then given to ensure healing of this cut portion. And then when we look at these on an ultrasound after the surgery, after the mandatory period of healing of about two or three months has passed, one finds that the uterus has grown back or has been restored back to its normal size. And then you can definitely attempt pregnancy either naturally or by IVF techniques. I have included a link to uh, the technique of doing a lateral metroplasty, which is the surgery for enlargement of T-shaped uterus, and also the link to another patient information video for T-shaped uterus, 
which you can find in the comment section below. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments box below. And if you like the video, please click on the icon above to subscribe to our channel and to keep receiving more updates. Thank you.